Hi! I've been reading some picture books and some graphic novels and I figured I would share them with you today. There's a couple more graphic novels I want to read before the end of the year but I feel like I have a nice little selection out that I can talk about. I'm gonna start off with one of the picture books. I actually read this yesterday and it is Hortense and the Shadow by Natalia and Lauren O'Hara. Now with picture books it's always kind of funny because obviously graphic novels and picture books are not quite the same but I feel like I get the same enjoyment out of them and I think they go well together in videos. This one is a penguin one so I got this copy at work and it is really really pretty. First of all the cover is so wintry and snowy because usually there's not that much text in picture books. I always enjoy reading all the extra bits that are around it so like the little bit of information about the author or the illustrator and this was actually written by two sisters and their Polish grandmother always used to tell them stories at night and that is kind of what inspired this picture book. It's a story of Hortense who is scared by her shadow so she tries to ditch it and that's where it sort of all gets started. The pictures of this are really really beautiful would make an excellent Christmas gift I think. All the reviews leading up to Christmas I'm like yes this is a great Christmas gift it is really lovely. It is obviously quite a quick read, but I really enjoyed this one. And then next up, I finally got around to reading Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley, who you might know from the Scott Pilgrim series. This is my boyfriend's copy. He bought it and really liked it, and I've had it in my flat for ages, just sitting there waiting for me to read it. And one morning, while I was in bed, I think it was a Saturday, I just picked it up and read it in one go, because that's the kind of graphic novel this is. I was expecting a pretty straightforward contemporary setting, but this actually has a bit of a magical twist to it. So here's, I guess, an example of what the pages look like on the inside and the colors. It's about a young woman called Katie who owns her own restaurant, and she wants to set up a second restaurant. She's doing really well, but not everything in her life is going the way she wants it to. And then she finds this magical mushroom and the instructions to write down her mistake or like what she'd like to fix in her life, eat the mushroom, go to bed, and then when you wake up the next day, everything will be fixed. It's kind of like a time travel story where you keep trying to fix stuff, but every time you fix it, you mess it up more. This has a lot of like warmth and heart to it, also kind of creepy, and it has the very like sarcastic humor that Scott Pilgrim has as well. So if you like Scott Pilgrim, this is one to check out. But in general, I think this is also a really good graphic novel for someone who hasn't read that many graphic novels before. Just realized that there is a Guillermo del Toro quote on the back, which I do feel is appropriate for this one. Next up, another picture book. It is Here We Are Notes for Living on Planet Earth by Oliver Jeffers. Oliver Jeffers, obviously, quite famous. Uh, this was sent to me for review. I was also sent his previous picture book. I think it was called A Child of Letters or A Child of Words. Wasn't really for me that one. I was curious to check this one out and actually I really really like this one. It's a little example of one of the pages but this is basically an explanation of the world or a little instruction manual of the world from a parent to a little baby explaining what the world is like. We've been enjoying Blue Planet. Uh, There's a page here with lots of like animals but then it also talks about people and learning from each other and taking care of the planet. I mean the illustrations of course are stunning. The colors are so beautiful. I really liked the message behind this one and it's it's another like heart warmer. I know there's a couple of books and a couple of different things that almost take the view of an alien where you sort of try and explain planet earth to someone who doesn't know anything about it and it has, has a bit of that in it as well which I really liked. Last but definitely not least I finally read Saga. There's a lot of comics and graphic novels that people adore and I've read a couple of them and I didn't like some of them and that makes me hesitant sometimes to pick up another one that people rave about. But it only took me like a handful of pages to figure out that I loved these. I borrowed them off of a friend. Saga volume number one, Saga volume number two. This is about a fugitive couple. They've just had a baby. One of the characters is basically in labor when you start reading. There's been this war between their two sort of species. So they shouldn't be together. They should hate each other, but they fell in love. He was a prisoner. She was a prison guard. They ran away. Now people are after them. There's like bounty hunters after them. Parents show up at some point. Set in space. Lots of different weird species. But I think what really hit me about these is that they are really funny. The pacing of it is really good because sometimes with like comic bind-ups the pacing is a bit difficult because it goes like up and down, up and down. 
Really liked the pacing on this. You get to see lots of other characters as well. It is a bit graphic, but not quite as graphic as I expected it to be. The characters are just really charming. It is one of those, if you like Firefly, you'll like this. Here's an example of one of the pages. A lot of it is told from the point of view of the baby um, looking back. So like the narration's nice. And that font that is used, I really enjoy. I very often struggle with um, certain fonts and good, good font for like all the extra description. Another page, it is just really, really gorgeous. Um, I need to find out if my friend has the other volumes so I can just read them all in one go. All right, those were some picture books, graphic novels, comics, etc. that I have read and enjoyed. They also really helped me along with the 50 book challenge, which I'm always grateful for. If you have any more recommendations sort of in the genre that I've been talking about, do let me know. If you've been reading any good graphic novels, leave them in a comment below. And that is it for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day. See you later. Doei!